Is the light adjustable lens the real deal? We've been looking at the light adjustable lens technology since 2017. Since that time, I've spoken with several ophthalmologists about the performance of the LAL or light adjustable lens. Additionally, I've spoken with several representatives from RX Sight, which is the company that manufactures this lens. And ultimately, the reviews have been mixed. Several surgeons shared with me that the LAL requires a lot of extra time for the doctor and the patient after the lens has been implanted and during the post-operative period for the three to five additional visits that it requires to adjust and then lock in the lens settings for each patient. The RX site representatives told me that this lens is spectacular. And by the way, they're real oh. and they're spectacular. Meanwhile, over the past six years, since 2017, there have been many other lenses that have emerged that successfully correct presbyopia, such as the Symphony OptiBlue, the IC8 Aptera, the Vividi lens, and perhaps the most effective and best presbyopia correcting lens that I have found to date, the Panoptics lens. Now, we know and tell you that there is no perfect lens that will provide perfect vision at all distances without any visual side effects such as halos at night. There is no lens that will satisfy the visual demands of each individual to see perfectly in all situations without glasses. How will the light adjustable lens work differently or better than the other premium presbyopia correcting lenses that we currently use in our practice for our patients? Well, what I've learned so far is that the LAL when used in both eyes will allow patients to see their very best overall image quality far, mid, and near without glasses. And these patients will experience minimal, very minimal nighttime halo when looking at lights at nighttime, such as car lights when driving. Additionally, the lens focus and performance can be adjusted using this device in three to five visits during the post-operative period. We'll use this device to focus light on the lens and adjust the way it focuses and customize the focus for each patient to see their very best with the least reliance on glasses. So what type of patient is the best candidate to receive the LAL? in our practice? Well, we're going to find out. But at this point, I think the best candidate for the LAL is somebody who wants their best overall quality of vision far mid and near, is willing to have the LAL in both eyes and have one eye see slightly differently than the other. But when both eyes work together, they kind of complement one another. So the combined vision of both eyes gives very seamless vision far mid and near. And it's also going to appeal to the patient who wants to be the least reliant on glasses and they want to have their best image quality at nighttime and they want to avoid a nighttime halo. Then these patients probably are the best candidates to receive the LAL. We will start using the light adjustable lens in August 2023. Right now it's August first 2023 when I'm shooting this video and together we'll find out how well it works. I'll post videos sharing our experience in the future using the light adjustable lens and this light delivery device and we'll find out together how well our patients see. Hopefully it lives up to the promise that we've been told and we'll post those videos in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.